So you have a webcam and you want a better quality and you don't really know how to fix that. I'm going to show you in OBS Studio and I think it's the same as Streamlabs, but I'm not sure. So if this is wrong, let me know down in the comment area. But I'm going to show you how you set up your webcam, what you need to actually get an OK stream setup with your webcam. So it's kind of easy. So let's roll the video. So what do you need to do? First thing we need to do is find your webcam. Right click on it. Go to properties. Pick that up a bit. Devices is your webcam. And then you can scroll down a bit. Maybe not this is for everything. I have a C922 Pro Stream webcam. It's the same as C920 webcam. If you have another webcam, maybe not everything works like you do here. So you just know that. But for this Logitech C920 or 22, it works like this. You scroll down, resolution, FPS type, custom. Resolution, I can recommend 720 or 1080. Depends how much power you have, maybe. I don't know, I've tried the both and I don't really change, feel a difference really, but try them both out and see what is best for you, okay? The other thing, it's the FPS. You can go for 30 FPS or 29. I often go with 29.97 NTSC. Video format, any. Color space, 709. Color range, full. Buffering, disabled. The rest is applied. You don't really need to change everything like that. The next thing, when you have done that, go to configure video. You can drag that away. There. There. And this is on Swedish, so sorry. But I'm gonna try to do this. So you go to uh, camera control, hard to speak today, camera control, and I see already now it's changed. And for you, it's going to be auto everything. You want to remove this. So remove everything, focusing, exposure and weak lights. I think it's weak lights. And you want zero, you want 100, zero, minus five, it's always gonna be minus five, recommending that extremely much. Zero, zero. When you're done with that, go back again. And do gain. This one. We're gonna, I think, it's, I don't know what's the word for English, sorry. To 255. You want to change that too. And. Yeah, that's everything. Simple, right? And apply. Okay. And this do you need to do every time you're starting your computer. So if you're starting your computer and then start your OBS, you need to do all this every time because OBS doesn't remember this and it's an annoying. Yes, you have programs for this, but you don't want extra programs, right? And it's just, you get used to it. I do that every time. But if you close OBS and go up with it again, you don't need to do this. So every time you turning off your computer and turn it up again, you need to do this, okay? The next thing is actually the big difference. And that's actually the light. I'm gonna show you how my webcam looks and maybe your webcam looks. So I'll give one moment. So what has happened? The thing is this, the only thing I've done, well actually two things I've done. I turned off my Elgato key light and have the roof lamp lit instead. And like you see, it's maybe not the best. Of course, yes, I have the RGBs in the background who maybe do some stuff with the blue here, but it's not the greatest. It works, it's not the greatest, but it works. So there's have the biggest difference what a lamp can do. I have only one on right now. I have actually two lamps on me when I do YouTube and streaming, but 
because of this video i want to show you just one and here you have when i have both lamps on big difference i'm editing right now but i want to show sharpening and color correction very important for your webcam trust me and this is without extreme difference and with you see sharpening i have the 0 0.10 and color correction contrast 0 0.11 and saturation 0 0.23 change that copy those very important so big difference right the only thing you need to do is do the settings on the webcam every time you start up obs and of course the light uh, I have no really suggestions what you can use but try to find something cheap who can focusing on you because your webcam wants it trust me it's a big difference or if you have the money buy an elgato key light because it's i can trust you it's amazing i love it and that was everything for me i hope this helped you in any way if it doesn't help you let me know in the comment area and of course like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more matter out thank you for watching bye bye